Hello everyone, Chilo Chell from Norway. I'm gonna do a pod review today of the Brasilera Marimbondo, so I'll be right back right after this. So here I am back again. Uh, I have one plant in Kretke of the Brasileira Marim Marimbondo. Uh, the phenols are a little bit off because it's been neglected a bit. Uh, I have a plant outside uh, that I harvested from. You can see a clip of it here. So in here I have a ripened Brasileira Marimbondo. And you can see it right up here. Nice pheno. So I'm gonna try this one. And as you can see, the pheno is, is a little bit off. That is because of the weather. Uh, they are supposed to have a little pointy tip. Um, it's a capsicum and the uh, capsicum. Capsinum Capsicum Chinense. Just putting this aside, you can see there is a couple of pots hanging in here and they are round. They're not supposed to be round, but when I was on vacation, the pods got, uh, got, uh, it got a little bit neglected, so it is what it is. So, as you can see, the pheno is, li is a little bit off. It's a capsicum chinense. Um, it is uh, uh, Brasileira marimbondo. Uh, it's called uh, a Brazilian wasp in English, or it means a Brazilian wasp. Uh, so that might tell you a little bit about the heat. It's not super hot. Uh, it's about 200, 300,000 square heat units, approximately. So, I'm gonna cut it open. First, I'm gonna... So, I'm gonna cut this one open, and you'll see how it looks inside. You, you can smell that it is a capsicum chinense. It has quite thick walls. Uh, a lot of placenta. A couple seeds. Not sure. Yeah, there is some seeds in here. Just taking out some. The one on the other side can be. Uh, so, this is how it looks inside. They, they are supposed to get bigger, but as I mentioned in my previous videos from my peppers I grown outside, the peppers is getting tiny. But they do pack a good amount of heat, and the taste is right where it should be. So I'm not bugged about it, but it's a little annoying to just eat small, small peppers. So I'm just, the first one, for the taste, I'm gonna just take a little slice. I've had this before and I, I know, I know this taste. The taste. It's like a good yellow or red apple. Slightly heat. That was just from a small one. So it definitely reminds me of a yellow or a red apple. Maybe more like a yellow apple, I think. Extremely good taste. 
this, this is one of the tastiest peppers uh, I've had. It's extremely sweet. It has a nice heat, not overwhelming. Um, and yeah, it's just simply a good pepper. And this one is uh, originated from Brazil. And uh, I just gotta do it. This is Brazil. I love that. I love the movie Fast and Furious. Mm. So I'm gonna eat this now, Fast and Furious. Cheers guys. Mm. Nice and crunchy. All heat right away. Mm. Oh, there is the apple taste. Oh. Oh my, wow, that is a pepper, holy moly, that is good. Whew. It has some heat, yeah. And uh, when the pots are ripening, it goes from dark green, and then they get a little dark, almost like almost black, before before they turn into red. It takes a little while, but it's definitely worth it. Worth it. Uh, this is an extremely good pepper and perfectly for making powder, a tasty powder, and. Uh, yeah, it, it got it got a decent amount of heat, not overwhelming, but but a good good heat. So I just I just love this pepper. Uh, it's easy to grow. It grows quite tall. Um, takes some time to uh, to to get them to sprout. It's getting heavy, so it's falling a bit here I see so I have to put some tape on it to hold it on place but yeah it takes about 7 to 25 days for them for them to sprout uh, but when they do they grow fast they go re grow re really fast so when it comes to the heat it's in the, the upper throat upper back throat a little bit on the tongue, not much. And uh, yeah, it's the, that that apple taste that is phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal. It's a, it's a lovely one. So I definitely recommend this one. Uh, if you don't like uh, extremely hot peppers want good tasty peppers with a good amount of heat but not overwhelming the Brasileira Marambundo is, is a perfect one I have tons of seeds if you have some if you if you want some I'm willing to trade just send me a message uh, this is a, a pepper you should grow if you like uh, it, it's perfect for building tolerance, actually. You can eat a lot of them. You get a good taste. You get some heat. And it, it just, it, it's simply stunning. Perfect pepper. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll be back for more quite soon. And then it will be some hotter pots. So see you, see you guys around, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm saying goodbye for now, and I'll catch you later.